We're here in Amsterdam at the Money 2020 and we're here with Dash, one of the most beautiful boots here around. Robert, nice to meet you again. Yeah, hi Vassal, thanks for <laughs> nice words about the boot. I love it, I like it too. <laughs> hi guys. Actually, you, you said it was one of the most mo most beautiful boots you ever been to uh, in a conference. Yeah, at the conference, this is definitely our best boot. I have never seen something like this at, you know, Dash conferences dash where dash was sponsoring and so on this is logo, our yeah. new new branding new logo and uh, the new design of the boat it's outstanding wow really excited to be here <laughs> and did you had some interesting talks here with uh, with people well i have to say that today is like much more quiet than usually during the blockchain or crypto conferences here is more traditional industry mm. and maybe it's not like they, they are not really interested at all, but mm. you know the, the, the level of interest is much lower. So what we are going to do, we will be like visiting different cool. potential partners and we, will, we are going to talk to them, explain what Dash advantages are, yeah. do some demos, okay. ask them to install their wallets and then show how it works in, in real time. It, it always works. <laughs> <laughs> it helps a lot. A lot. And uh, and what kind of uh, clients are you looking for? You said like payment providers, that kind of. Yes, yes, mm. that's correct. Payment providers, channel partners that would allow us to to get to their customers. Mm. Uh, but payment pro processors, payment providers, payment networks. Cool. This is our target here. I mean, all of these mm. payment. Pro processors, payment providers from more traditional financial industry who would be potentially willing to integrate cryptocurrencies. All right. And how does it work actually? For instance, I, I, I am a payment provider and want to integrate your solution. Uh, what kind of process uh, are you going into? In through integration to integrate dash well, it, dash wallet it depends on on the scale of the project sometimes it's you know very simple mm -hmm. if it's a small software or small system it's easy to integrate to to our api or mm -hmm. to block cipher api and uh, that's it it's mm -hmm. the, there is nothing more that needs to be done if Plug it's very if it's very complex and requires a lot of attention and a lot of resources on both sides, then we are doing it as a project mm -hmm. with you know project managers on both sides being engaged with the, the project plan and our developers, their developers being engaged. Because uh, you can integrate Dash in different ways. You mm -hmm. can integrate directly to the blockchain, which is complex and complicated. You can integrate through our API or Block Cipher API. Uh, but still, the, the, the scale mm. of this kind of project is different each, ca each time. Mm. So, first we, we do due diligence, we, we are planning everything mm. carefully and, and then executing. But usually, usually we simply help our partners to, to integrate Dash, so we are making their life easier. And what are actually the challenges for 2018 for Dash? I mean, last time I uh, had to, uh, we met in Berlin, few months back and you say yeah the, 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 the organization is growing fast we're investing in a new organization and we're working on several milestones oh yeah this is exciting and, and really difficult year for for dashcore group itself because uh, mm. as you mentioned we are expanding our company so we are hiring a lot of people we have reorganized the entire organization created departments with, with managers with teams mm. And right now we are setting up our entire delivery organization into agile mode. So we have hired external consultants to, to help us with this work and uh, educating our people on how to deal with, with this new approach. Mm -hmm. And at the same time we, we also like putting a lot of structure in, in other parts of, our, of the organization. So internally it's a lot of work for us. But externally we also uh, like committed to deliver an MVP evolu of the next version, a Dash Evolution, and this is our major focus for this year, to, to deliver this MVP and to, to start promote this product and as much as, as integrations and, and partners, channel partners as possible mm -hmm. at the same time on business development side. Cool. And can you tell the futures of this uh, Dash uh, 
evolution uh, update because oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's I, would, I would love to but it's the future and you cannot okay, say sure. uh, something you know that is fixed we have faced a lot of issues so far with with delivery just because we were committing dates and were able we were, we were not able to you know to to meet these deadlines because of different circumstances sometimes this was personal sometimes this was just because it's a very complex and, and big yeah. projects and it's difficult to predict something that s no one has ever delivered right mm. you're quite open about it yes yeah. so right now we are in a point when we have like defined the roadmap for mvp mm. and we are putting it into our system so developers are uh, building their own backlogs out of it and then putting some rough estimates on it mm. and you will be reporting simply progress mm. uh, what what community and partners will see it's a entire backlog of so-called epics let's say and what is the progress of, of development for this and this will be you know simply visible where are we mm. uh, how many functionalities were being delivered how many is going to be delivered mm. and this is this is the way we are going to like stay transparent inform about the progress and to also get the feedback from from our community and of course dash has its own uh, uh, blockchain yes. i mean and and of course what kind of challenges do you meet to actually continuously update this blockchain i mean we saw, we've seen the ethereum eh? it takes years to get their casper update uh, of course in uh, integrated uh, in, 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 in a new update so it's a very uh, important update uh, but but what kind of challenges do you meet in getting the, the blockchain updated again I mean well on our side it's much easier mm. uh, with two-tier network when people are incentivized to you know stay with the current version of, of the software and uh, work on the, the current version and also somehow this two-level, two-tier architecture make it, make it, makes it easier to update because you can simply distribute the, the, this message to, to the exchange. <laughs> there is something going on there in, in background. You can distribute... You order a band, or uh, music band? Or did I? <laughs> wow, is this a surprise or something? No, yeah. we didn't. Uh, obviously someone else did and that they are having a good time there. Uh, so it's much easier with with the sports we we do have and like i feel like our partners and community are very well organized so mm. the time that we usually need to upgrade the entire blockchain or enough mm. nodes to to the you know higher version is around two weeks so it's not years it's not months it's usually two three four weeks maximum and the network is is being upgraded we are switching off sparks and everything works fine there were you know couple of upgrades like like this and everything every time it worked very well and we are very positive about such changes Actually, I used the Dash wallet in a local store in here in Amsterdam, and uh, it, it it went quickly. Like I scanned uh, with my wallet a QR code, and was like it was yep. like many seconds. Yeah, people mean. people are always amazed with this. We can go to the conferences. We can do it like the best presentations ever however what works is simply going to the person asking to install a wallet and, and making transfer in one second and the wow effect is like immediate after yeah. that but that is actually uh, you wanna there's also your aim eh, that dash will be a, a currency to to pay with with the, with dash or well cryptocurrency let's say yeah, yeah, yeah. yes this is the goal it's not let's say dependent fully on us we 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 are aiming to to deliver the best payments platform in in the blockchain industry whether dash will be accepted as a currency or not well this is the decision on on side of the merchant or even side of country governments or authorities okay yeah true we cannot make this kind of decision by ourselves we would love to <laughs> but it's outside our let's say area of responsibility do, do, do you have some contact with uh, with regulation uh, with uh, regulatories or about, about uh, cryptocurrencies let's say we very rarely initiate the, this contact by ourselves if we are having any questions if we are having any uh, 
like regulators approaching us and, and asking to provide information, of course we do it. Mm. We have some contacts in, in European Parliament, uh, but we don't like work directly on daily basis with, with authorities. We are very open to, to respond to any request and then work with them. Uh, however, it could be very difficult to work with you know all of them. There are so many countries, they, they have so different approaches and uh, they, they let's consider cryptocurrencies very differently in Switzerland. What is cryptocurrency in Switzerland, United States and Russia, for example. So we are, we are very responsive. Uh, but internally, our job is to deliver the, the software, the payments platform, and this is our major focus. A few more questions. I mean, uh, we see that private, enormously, I must say, private tokens, private uh, blockchains like Zcash, Zcash, Zcoin, private, uh, Bitcoin private, is, is, is are on the rise. I mean, they're getting more popular. Uh, what do you see? How do you see that, that development? of privacy coins, yeah. let's say. Well, if they are definitely needed. Mm. There are pros and cons about privacy focus coins and it's hard to say what will be the future for these coins. Mm. Definitely there, there is a space in, in business where this kind of products might be potentially used. Mm. We'll see how the regulators is going to see this kind of yeah. uh, currencies uh, because we have already seen for example in Japan that the, they are not really tolerant to, to privacy coins and they have like banned all of them from from Japan exchanges yeah. Yeah. Japan FSA yeah. uh, did uh, like yeah. put a ban on, on them like a couple of days ago literally uh, it's on the risk, other yeah. hand, you know, countries like Switzerland are very open. Hmm. We'll see. I definitely see the business case where you can use these yeah. coins, any any privacy coin. Yeah. Yeah. There are pros, there are cons, and you will the uh, will you build in such privacy futures in into Dash or? It is already. Yeah. Built. It's, it it's is already. already. Yeah. Uh, there it, we we have optional privacy hmm. uh, feature called private send. Actually, it's a mixing mechanism exactly the same as you can use with Bitcoin or, or Litecoin. Mm. Uh, it's just being integrated with, with the wallet, with the Dash reference wallet, and okay. uh, the there is an option to mix your, your coins as, a, as an optional feature okay. in the product. A few more questions. I mean, there is a focus on protocols. I mean, you see like uh, uh, Silica, Ethereum, of course, is a very known protocol, Icon, Dragon Chain, etc. But uh, how do you see that? It's, do you see it as a competition or do you see it as a good sign for the industry? What's your take on, on these protocols, other protocols than Dash? Which protocols? Uh, yeah, other platforms. Like ah, other platform. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm very positive about the competition. The the better projects we have industry, the stronger industry is. So mm. I, I love competition. I you know I really appreciate what the other projects are doing in the space. It's impossible to follow everyone. Mm. Mm. I know just a few of them. I I know that you know there are smart people behind these projects, and I really hope that many will succeed. So the world outside, let's say, will see advantages of, of blockchain technology and this technology will be adopted into, into the mainstream faster. And what are your three main arguments to actually uh, uh, to go do business with Dash? I mean, for instance, when you meet here a private uh, payment provider, what do you say to them? It's, it's, it's like safer or cheaper? Or? Uh, both actually. <laughs> Uh, we m most of the time we, we are mentioning that it's borderless, first of all. Yeah. That the issue there, all of them, they, they deal with our borders. So blockchain is borderless and it's fast. You can, you can do the transaction mm -hmm. within a couple of seconds. With Dash, one, two seconds and you have a confirmation from blockchain. Despite the distance, yeah. you are doing the transaction. Of course, the price is really important to all of them. 
if you know they have to pay for for the transfer a couple of dollars or something and with dash it's one cent or a couple of cents the, the depends of, of on the time let's say and the, the size of transaction but still it's extremely attractive to them of course reliability of, of blockchain technology and, and the fact that it's itself the, the use use of this technology is, is very convenient and cheap also matters so there are many selling points the fact that we are providing them with with the support team as well is important because this is a setup they got used to work with any service provider and it's not common still in in our industry that uh, you know that there is an integration team like in dash and they are providing the expertise their their team members to to help with integrations and at the same time that there is also a service desk when you can submit a ticket and, and and ask if you have any issue okay. sounds good and uh, do you have whether uh, besides dash do you have any favorite projects could be an ICO or another blockchain. I do. <laughs> However, I won't. I, I will not advertise. You know the the others for sure. We uh, all of our partners like Blockcipher, GoCoin, uh. and and many many others. The, the, there are there are partners like CoinFirm in, in Poland who are providing AML services. The the there is Uphold. There are multiple of them being available on the market, and definitely our partners those <laughs> are favorite. But yeah, in the space that there are many projects, mm. right? What do you think fantastic. of Ethereum? Ethereum? Fantastic, yeah. absolutely fantastic project. Mm. I'm a big fan of Ethereum, and I hope they they will succeed. I hope that you know that their product will be you know stable enough and the, the, there will be enough proven value to, to the mainstream so everything of this will be adopted it's it's simply in advantage it, yeah. they, they do a lot of favors for the entire industry all right. thank you very much again robert and all the best with uh, with dash so uh, go to dash.com i think or dot io and uh, dot org <laughs> oh yeah dot org and uh, see all the see all the news Great project, so uh, thank you very much. Thanks, Yes.